Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna show this all again, okay? When, when, when it's slow, this is when it's slow. It's, I mean, it's really weird to do super slow. It's designed to be a bit faster. So I'm leaning it out, I'm leaning it in. Down, up. James has definitely done a session on this before. Is there any questions about what I'm doing or maybe ways to approach it? Is there, is there anything that anyone wants to share about this? Have, they, have you guys tried this before? Um, I'm interested to hear your input. If you do have something to say, please, like I said, please speak up. Um, this, like, a, like in pipe band, are you going to just go cha 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 with one hand? I mean, probably not, you know. I'm not going to say you'll never do it, but so far, where I've actually used this technique uh, in an actual setting in pipe band has been alternating flames. It's been great. And I've used it on some of the like, reels, um, like straight reels, um, and I'll show some of that stuff kind of later on. But so, uh, and now I'm going to show the, the right hand, the, my right hand, this is the traditional grip hand. Okay, so really slowly. If my hand goes down, I open up, and as my hand comes up a little bit, it's like I get a, it's like I get a note as I come up. Drop catch, drop catch, drop catch, drop catch. And my fingers kind of open, and then they close. And eventually, and then at that point in time, I'm kind of just going doing this, and it's and it's and it's still doing a small drop bounce, but it's not obviously as exaggerated as a really 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 slow tempo. Okay, so I'll do it again. So it's slow. Down up, down up, drop bounce, open close, open or whatever you want to kind of say to yourself, because this technique has so many different names. One-handed roll is kind of what I, how I heard about it first. Now, if I was to do that same rhythm, cut up, cut up, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. We're still going to. Now, so it's still gallopy. Now, I've just straightened it out. Okay, so there's it's it's a it's an interesting thing, and it took me a lot of time. So I'm just gonna like I'm just enforcing that. It's one of those things like finger control, right? Like that. Well, that we we're working on yesterday. That it's like one of those things you chip away with, and you keep going, and you just kind of like make a little metronome marking of how you're going on a particular day. And it's like, okay, cool. I'm at 100. Can I get to 105? Can I get to 110? And try to try to think about. Kind of where you can where you can go with that. So so then, how does this relate? To, well, let's go back to, to where I started. How does this relate to the 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 fla fla or the alternating flams? Right. So if I put this this hand and I put this hand and I offset it. Now 
Then you're gonna got some nice, some, some pretty nice kind of like flowing alternating flames going on there. Now, when I was at, like I said, when I was at jazz school, there's no way I could get that speed from wristing it out. I'll, I was usually doing this, and I was kind of then it was starting to sound messy and it was sloppy and it was heavy and I was like and I, and I was feeling kind of like tense about it. And I was. I could only get so fast, whereas here. Feels very, very light, as, and it's, at, that, at this point in time, it's very, it's effortless at that point. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com. I will put that description in the link below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.